Hi, so in this file I'm going to show you how to assemble the cutting file that I posted on my blog the other day and it's my version of the fruit basket. So here's the first one I made, just very plain and then this is one I decorated using um, rubber stamps and some flowers that are um, a stamping up stamp and I cut them with the scan and cut and you can either do it with the handle or without. Okay, so the cutting file is available on the cutting file page of my blog. When I designed it, I designed it smaller than the original that I took the inspiration from so that it would all fit on a piece of A4 card. Now our A4 card is a slightly different size than I think what you call letter size in the US. So this is This is a thing eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So if you're using eight and a half by 11, on your cutting file, you'll have the two main body pieces and you'll have three pieces that look the same. Two of them have got score lines and one hasn't. The one that hasn't is the handle. And you may have to, it's down here, I think, on the cutting file. You may have to rotate it 90 degrees and fit it on the side here to get it all out so I hope that makes sense so you'll have two main pieces and then three strips now two of them have got perforations which because of this type of card you're not going to see in the video but basically there's a, a fold on the end here and there's a fold there and that's what you need to do make those creases like so and then you need to put either a bit of wet adhesive or some of this red sticky strip on these tiny little ends because this is what's going to make the frame for around the top of your basket so if I just show you and then you'll it'll all make sense so if I peel that away and you want the piece without the fold to go to the piece with the fold of the opposite and you can either stick it on the underside or on the top side whichever you want and I'm just gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't see a thing so you line it up and stick it and then undo this one And then again, you can either put it inside or on the outside, whichever you prefer. I'm doing this one on the outside, but the other two are stuck on the inside. So that makes the frame. So that's quite simple. The other two pieces, um, if you're going to decorate them, do it now while they're like this, while they're flat. If you, this, the, the cutting file is in two parts. You've got the outer basket, which is all this. And then on a separate cutting file, you've got the liners. So you don't have to do the liners. I didn't do them in this one, but in this one I did. Don't know if you can see. It's been snowing here for days. We've been snowed in for days. So although I've got all the lights on, it's still a little bit dark. So I apologize if you can't see as good. But anyway, so if you're going to decorate, decorate now. And then if you want to use the liner, Cut your liner, stick it on. I've just used some sticky, a sticky runner to put this on. And then you'll find on, on your outside pieces, right through the middle of these ovals is a perforation line. So you want to bend these on the perforation line. And if you're using a liner, you will have to just bend them gently to get the inside to crease but if you're not using the liner they, they just bend really easily on on the perforated line that's already there that I've put in so you just put a finger behind them here and then bend if you only if you're using a liner you don't need to use it if you um not and then you do the same with the other one
just give them a good burnish. I actually quite like them without the liners. I think they look more realistic, like the old fashioned fruit baskets that um, I remember when I was a child. We don't seem to get fruit in these kind of um, punnet type baskets anymore. They all seem to be in plastic containers. And then basically all you're going to do is stick one to the other. So just get a bit of wet glue. And then because the basis of the middle is square, it's easy enough to line these up. But if you turn it over, you'll get a better view because you've got your perforation lines as a guideline here. So you can centralise it. And if you use a wet glue, you've got a little bit of wiggle time. So that's basically your box. Then all as I do is I turn it over, drop the band on and then turn it back. Now, I staple mine first. If you want to put a handle on, you could put the handle on now, but the way I do it is you want to centralize your panel in your rim. So, once you get the first one on, it's fairly easy. So basically, you need to find, try and turn it around this way, it might make it easier to see. Centralise this part of the box to this part of the band. So if you do that first and then staple it. Because the old fruit punnets, that's how they used to be held together like this with, with staples. And then I'm making this look harder than it is. It's a lot easier, I can tell you, when you're not trying to do it to a camera. Then I do the opposite first uh, next so centralize your panel again and staple and then do your last ones and if you staple towards the end of the box rather than in the middle you've got a gap then where you can put your um, handle in if you wish to. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So that's your box made, your fruit box made. Then obviously you can decide which what you want to be your front and back or they're all it's all virtually the same and this is your handle and you can decide how you want your handle to go. Now what I would do with a handle I would put a bit of wet glue on this or at least some of the red sticky strip and um, something like this that's really strong and then because you've put your staples on either side rather than in the middle, you can actually put your handle in between the two layers. So if you put some glue on this and then slide it in, and I find doing it this way because you can use the bottom of this band as a guide. If you put it on before, you might send it too far down here and the handle will be showing through there, which, you know, if you don't mind that, then that's fair enough. But um, if you do it this way, if you put your band on first, try and find the gap, then you can put a bit of glue on your, on your handle and then put it inside like that. So that's how you make it. So as I say, you can make it with or without a handle and you can decorate it. So I hope you found that helpful. As I say, the cutting file is on the cutting file page of my blog and I'll see you in the next video.